Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jason Andreessen. and I'm the president and CEO of Baton Rouge Gallery and welcome to Surreal Salon 13. We are thrilled to have you here. We're thrilled to have this show uh, as part of what the gallery does each and every year. Uh, obviously this year is a little different. We're bummed about that, but we're gonna make the best of it. So thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, before we get started, a few quick words of thanks. Uh, I wanna say thank you to all of the artists whose work we're gonna share with you tonight. Thank you to all of those artists for allowing us to share their work with our visitors all this month. I also wanna say thank you to ThinkSpace Projects and Andrew Hosner, who you will uh, meet here in just a minute, but thank you to ThinkSpace for partnering us, with us on this show and selecting an incredible collection of works um, as part of Surreal Salon 13. I also wanna say thank you to Juxtapose Magazine for their support of this exhibition throughout the years. It has meant the world to us. We really appreciate it. Um, and also thank you to Lynn Pisto, one of our great donors uh, and supporters who really helped make this year's show possible. Uh, we really couldn't have done it without you. So thank you, Lynn. Also, thank you to our partners for many, many years on Surreal Salon, the LSU School of Art. Thank you to everyone over at the School of Art for supporting this show and supporting the gallery. Thank you to John G. Turner and Jerry G. Fisher, who have been longtime supporters of Baton Rouge Gallery, and we really appreciate everything they help us make possible. Uh, I also want to say thank you to our partners at BREC, the Parks and Recreation Commission for East Baton Rouge Parish. They have been our partners for more than 30 years, and we are thrilled uh, to call them our partners and call City Park home, as we have since 1984. So thank you to all of them. I also want to say thank you to all of Baton Rouge Gallery's members and donors who support the gallery year-round and make it possible for us to do all of the programming that we do. Thank you to our board of directors, and thank you to Baton Rouge Gallery's incredible, incredible staff. Uh, Kelsey Livingston, Jonathan Perrin, and Francesca Vega. They're an incredible group and we're lucky to have them. So thank you to all of our staff members. Um, I also wanna say thank you to everybody who has helped support uh, Surreal Salon over the years, whether you've uh, been an artist in the show or just somebody who comes uh, to the event, to the soiree that we do every year, dressing up in costume. Obviously tonight would be that night. This would be the night where we'd have hundreds of people coming through the gallery. Uh, enjoying this exhibition, showing off their costumes that in some instances they've worked on for weeks, if not months. Um, and we're bummed that we can't do that this year. But obviously with COVID being what it is, it would be irresponsible for us to do that. And so we will give you this walkthrough with uh, Andrew Hosner from ThinkSpace Projects in just a minute. Um, and rest assured, 2022, we will be back bigger and bigger and better than ever uh, with the Surreal Salon Soiree. So we will look forward to that in the meantime. Um, I also want to remind you that every single work that you see tonight will be uh, is available for viewing and for purchase on our website. That's the link uh, where you can go and see every one of these pieces that we'll show you tonight. Um, and of course, they're also available here in the gallery. You can come through January 28th, uh, any day but Monday from noon to six. We are free and open to the public. You can come and see every one of these works in person. Uh, if you are not aware, we're going to be going live on Instagram at 730. Uh, that'll be through Juxtapose Magazine's Instagram account, at Juxtapose Mag, uh, again with Andrew. And during that presentation, we will actually uh, announce the three prize-winning pieces as selected by ThinkSpace. So please join us on Instagram starting at 7.30. Um, and if anybody doesn't know, obviously we'll also be posting uh, who the winners were uh, on our social media after tonight's presentation. Um, if you are not familiar with Surreal Salon, if you've heard me now say Surreal Salon about a dozen times and have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, this is an exhibition that focuses on pop surrealism and lowbrow art that the gallery's been doing now for 13 years. Um, it started off as a one-night exhibition, a one-night event that featured only Louisiana-based artists. It has grown in the years since to the, now be an international exhibition that we do every January. Um, and it's a show that we're really proud of and one we look forward to every year. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us for this. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start and take a look through the gallery. We're going to move a little bit quickly because there's a lot of work to see. There are over 60 pieces in this show from over 40 artists representing 17 different U.S. states and four different countries. So we'll have to move a little quickly. But please, again, you can see all of these works online. You can see them in person at the gallery through January 28th. Uh, but we are going to move through the gallery with Andrew Hosner from ThinkSpace. Uh, I believe he's with us. If we can bring him up on the feed. Awesome. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Hey, how's it, Brad? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Oh, happy to be there. Wish I could be there, I should say. Yeah. Another day, another time. Definitely. Well, I'm going to uh, flip the camera here as we make our way through. And we'll start just by going through piece by piece and giving everybody who hasn't already gotten the chance to come by 
give them a sense of, of all the pieces. And Andrew, as we go, you can feel free to comment on individual pieces or on the show in general, maybe what you were looking for while you were uh, selecting the pieces. But we'll start here with Juan Manuel Sanabria's Out of the Blue. This artist is from uh, Corrientes, Corrientes, Argentina. Yeah, he's an amazing artist. Uh, friends with a bunch of artists that we're, we already work with, oddly enough. Um, and uh, definitely one of the more uh, recognizable styles, I think, uh, from just like in the entire exhibition. I mean, you, you know it's his work when you see it. Mm -hmm. Next up is Tyler Mitchell. This piece is titled Frank. Tyler is from Baltimore, Maryland, and this is Oil on Canvas. Yeah, you got to love that one. <laughs> Next uh, up. Is... Large, we, were, we were definitely making sure that having, uh, you know, a number of friends that have curated the show in the past, mm -hmm. including, uh, you know, definitely somebody that I consider my mentor, Greg Escalani. Um, we definitely had some, you know, big shoes to fill on at the same time. We kind of knew the vibe that everyone was, uh, had did in the past and recognized some works from past, uh, past exhibitions and, you know, just, cruising around Instagram and things of that nature. So we definitely wanted to make sure that we put together a really nice, vibrant show, which kind of uh, plays to the uh, curation that we do at our gallery, which is, you know, definitely all over the map, but a thin red line of just, you know, quality that kind of connects everything. And um, no, there's some uh, some really uh, great new artists, at least uh, to, to, to us um, in the show, as well as some faces that we've seen around for a few years now. And it was, uh, really cool to be able to put them in the exhibition and give them some love. Yeah, these pieces that we just passed through uh, from Denton Burroughs and then Calvin Wagner. Uh, this is Jackie Cassidy. This piece is titled Dorothy's Carousel. Um, and to Andrew's point, Surreal Salon has really had some incredible jurors over the years. Greg Escalante, co-founder of Juxtapose Magazine, and then uh, artists like uh, Ron English, Greg Crayola Simpkins, Liz McGrath, uh, Camille Rose Garcia, um, Shag, uh, NC Winters, Casey Weldon. I am surely invariably going to forget somebody, so forgive me if you are watching. <laughs> uh, this work is from Andrew Soria, based out of Los Angeles, titled Chinatown. Next up is Allison Bamcat. This is titled Beacon. L.A. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's always a strong representation from Southern California, but also from Louisiana, which is interesting. Now, there's a lot of artists in Louisiana this year that, uh, I mean, when I juried the exhibition, I didn't see names or details, really. So it was just kind of more based on the sheer merit of the art, which I like how they do that. And... Um, no, it was interesting um, how many people ended up being from Louisiana. Um, we did a show there a couple of years ago, and um, no, we, had a, we had a great time. So uh, definitely got our eyes on a couple of people uh, that are in this exhibition. This is Psychic Dissociation from Melody Jean Moulton from San Diego. Next up is a local Baton Rouge artist. This is Stephanie Cobb. The piece is titled The Garden. I'm backing up so you can see the get a sense of the scale. This is a, one of the larger pieces in the show. This is oil on canvas. Next up is another Louisiana artist. This is Keith Pirelli. The piece is titled Thin Blue Line. Yeah, that's one that it's in person that you can tell just rewards so much more. Yeah, I'm trying to give a few different angles so you can get a sense of the texture and the, the layering going on here. Yeah, that one's, that one's pretty epic. Mm -hmm. Next, we've got Victor LeBlanc from Denham Springs, Louisiana. This piece is titled Fragmental. This is oil on canvas. Next, Heather Heitzenrader from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
This piece is titled Happy Effing Birthday. <laughs> well, she can kill it with the hyperrealism. It's all about doing the mylar just right, and she is. And not afraid of color. Definitely not. Another Baton Rouge based artist. This is Bryson Boutte. Piece is titled Civilization Falls. Oh, he's from right there in Baton Rouge. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then Amanda Thurman from New Orleans. This piece is titled A Scratching. Had a few cat lovers come through the gallery this month that uh, have kind of gravitated towards that one. <laughs> Next up is Craig LeBlanc. This piece is titled Carnival in the Crescent. Give everyone a bit of a closer look. And we'll move to a sculptural piece this is from an artist named Anthony Guntron from Denver, Colorado. This is Cast Iron, and the title is Space Cat. And then you're parenthetically, always, Comet. You're always going to win a silver with cat art. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've got Hatziel Flores. This piece is titled Waiting for the World's End, and he is representing Dallas, Texas. Did some cool things with the uh, the rectangle, the, re the frame of the, the canvas here. Next, we'll go to Janelle Anderson. This piece is titled Portal One from Denver, Colorado. And then one of our international artists Natalia Manta from Athens, Greece, titled Dreams and Nightmares. Uh, something happened to her as a child with bananas. <laughs> or fish. Yeah, the two don't go together, so it's an odd one. I love it. Uh, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I look right into it. I'm like, something's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another big one. I'll back up so you can get a sense of the size. From Samuel Dunson, this is called Self-Portrait with Blind Faith. He is uh, from Marietta, Georgia. That piece is incredible. Definitely one of my favorites. Another piece from Janelle Anderson. This is To Have and To Hold. And then Matt Bashir's Crawfish Race. Another one that uh, some local audiences here in Louisiana have enjoyed. Hopefully not a precursor of anything to come in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Crazier Next. things have happened in 2020. Clearly. <laughs> Carlos Chavez. Oh, Carlos, that's good to attack you all. <laughs> Carlos Chavez, Rider Fly, a Los Angeles-based artist. I just saw that he's actually at our gallery right now on stories, uh, sharing some pictures. And I was like, oh, I would have loved to have met him. <laughs> But I came home to do this. <laughs> My wife's there. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, this this is titled Fake from Sean Quinlan. It's a quilt. And the artist is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hashtag timely. Mm. <laughs> I imagine there's plenty that could be said about this piece. We'll just leave it with timely. And we'll leave it at timely. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Jesse Vestermark. Uh, another California-based artist. This is titled Paradoxical Landscape, Mixed Media. And then from New Orleans, Jane Tardo, Cat Boyfriend One, Textiles and Cotton Batting. Because you can't have only just one cat boyfriend. <laughs> makes you wonder how many are there. <laughs> we'll make our way through the, the gallery hallway. And next up is Dustin Myers from Santa Ana, California with a trio of pieces. All of these are oil on panel. 
like little baby Ivanka. <laughs> Look at that. Next up is another piece from Juan Manuel Sanabria. This is titled Bubble Trouble. Epic. Jackie Cassidy, titled Drugged, from Gibbstown, New Jersey. And Andrea Gazetta, from Los Angeles. Cosmic Lovers, the artist's name is John S. Hancock from McGregor, Texas. Another international artist, Ken Cunningham from British Columbia. This piece is titled Threads One. It's not actually thread on there, is it, by any chance? Or? No. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> hey, it would have been cool. Mm-hmm. It's hard to tell on the old virtual. This is Rebirth from Steve Martinez in Long Beach, California. LBC. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely invite everybody to come see this in person because that, that gradient, I don't know if you're able to pick it up in your on your screens as well, but the transition of that blue is incredible. Uh, Steve crushes with his gradients. LA in the house. Right next door, Laguna Beach, California. This is Cody Jimenez. This piece is titled Smoke in the Sky, and the one to the left is Burnt Plains. Both pieces from Cody Jimenez. We'll turn right around and the other side of the hallway. This is Calvin Wagner as well. He had another piece in the front gallery. This is titled This is Not an Allegory from Seattle, Washington. One that's been a favorite on our social media, Saint Squirrel of Acorn from Cassandra Kim, representing Richmond, Virginia. She entered our otter contest for our during COVID when we had everyone do a photo of our cat in a box, and uh, <laughs> we, ended up, we ended up buying that one ourselves too. Uh, she's a she's a great artist. Mm -hmm. Cool to have her on the show. Joseph Borzada from Ocean Township, New Jersey. This is called Green Thumb. Acrylic paint and paper. Next is Becky Canine from Lafayette, Indiana. The title of the piece is River Nymph Calypso. And the last piece in the hallway here is from Cassie Redman, a Minnesota based artist titled Pony Hammer Five. That's cast iron and paint. All right, we'll make our way into the back gallery and start with Jeff Wanacott from Ontario, Canada. This is a collage piece titled It's My Party. Next up, Shelbyville, Indiana's Eric Hudgens with All Hope Is Not Lost. He mentioned he was in uh, past year's yeah, salon. Yeah, a few of these artists have, have been mm -hmm. uh, in Surreal Salon before. And it's it's been really cool to see how their work has changed over the years and evolved. Um, Eric, for example, years ago would have a piece like this, but the fish might be a cutout and actually uh, hang off the wall a bit. We've had a few folks realize that there are uh, some SpongeBob references here in the uh, the coral reef that they've enjoyed. <laughs> uh, next is Andrew Soria. This is titled "Better Days." Photo collage of some spots around Miami, Florida. 
Yeah, we usually don't do too much photography, but she was one of the few uh, submissions that really kind of uh, was doing something completely unique, I thought, and recontextualizing cities with her like little take, almost making them kind of favela-esque. Um, very cool. Next, Heather Heisenrader again from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is titled Center Stage. I'm going to try and move around a bit because the, the light's creating a bit of a glare. But kind of what you were speaking to earlier about her painting of mylar surfaces. Yeah, she's definitely uh, commands it well. Another Keith Pirelli piece, mixed media. This is titled Sangre from New Orleans. And then Juan Manuel Sanabria, this piece is titled Transition. Next from Mission, Texas, Veronica Yeager. This is titled Nubagina. Is that acrylics or oils? This is oil on canvas. Dawn Linden, titled The Green Room. The artist is from Pennsylvania, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. And then Jesse Vestermark again, this piece titled Shadow, Mandorla, Glory. This is also oil on canvas. Making our way around the gallery. Another piece from Carlos Chavez. This is titled Chicha Chia. Another Los Angeles artist, oil and aerosol on canvas. And then Dan Cohen, envoy of the Gin Queen from Portland, Oregon. A really strong style. It's a gorgeous command of color on this one. Another Louisiana-based artist, Josiah Gagosian from Harahan. What did you say earlier? It was like a, 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 like a demonic stitch. Oh, it was like, a, it was like <laughs> if stitch came from the Pacific Northwest or something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> But you can see the uh, the painting within this sculptural element. Another piece from Tyler Mitchell from Baltimore. Got one more from this artist coming up. This is titled The Death of a Decade. And then Francisco Castillo from Mesquite, Texas. This is titled Inner Bloom. Carlos Chavez again, this titled, If You're Losing, If You're Cruising, You're Losing. That's got to look pretty close to home for you, Andrew. Oh, uh, no, I got to say it earlier. That's like a, some maniac kind of cycle zipping through is like a regular occurrence in traffic every day. <laughs> but last piece. most of them, if they're crazy enough to do it, because it saves them a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. Last piece from uh, Tyler Mitchell. This is titled, This Is Me Smiling. Happy oil. oil on canvas. And then I'll back up because this is another large piece from Victor LeBlanc. This is titled Collapse. Representing Denham Springs, Louisiana, which is pretty close to Baton Rouge. That was me for the last four years reading Trump's tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is another piece from Janelle Anderson. This is titled Heat Wave, again from Denver, Colorado. This is titled Country Flame from Craig LeBlanc.
and Samuel Dunson again from Marietta, Georgia. This is titled Mama. Might also be considered timely. Definitely. That piece is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rounding out things, Angel Perdomo from Metairie, Louisiana. This is titled, That's a Clean Burning Hell, I'll Tell You What. One of my favorites, and I can't put my finger on why. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> from Jesse Vestermark, Mandorla One. From Watsonville, California, Peter Bartzak, Head Over Heels. And the last piece to share with you all, Howdy Folks from Matt Bashirs. You can see by the, the other pieces next to it, a, a pretty large piece, but certainly some interesting technique being used. That's a great one. All right. Well, thank that is Super Bowl thirteen. Yeah. No, thank you to everybody that contributed this year. It was uh, fun to look over everybody's work, and uh, it was definitely an honor. And uh, wish we could all, uh, you know, gathered and enjoyed the uh, enjoyed each other, enjoyed each other's company. Met each met some of you. There's uh, a lot of great talent on the show. But, Here's uh, hoping we get there soon enough. <laughs> let's hope we're not doing the next. Uh, let's hope you guys aren't doing the next year's uh, virtually. Well, we'll have to get you out here when we when we can get back to normal and and see what kind of costumes you guys come up with. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But this is always a great show, and this year is no exception. Thank you so much for all your efforts to put this show together. I know you poured over almost four hundred submissions from all over the globe, so I can't thank you enough for for being a part of this show this year. Thank you, everybody. All right, thank you, Jason. Thanks Absolutely. to the staff there. You. you guys hung a great show. It looks amazing. Excellent. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on Instagram in a few minutes. All right. Peace. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, it's been a pleasure to share Surreal Salon 13 with you. If you haven't already, please come by the gallery. Again, we're open every day but Monday from noon to six. Uh, please come by and see this show. It will close. The last day of the show is on January 28th. So please get by before then or check it out online at batonrishgallery.org slash Surreal Salon. Uh, you can see every single piece there as well as learn a little bit more about ThinkSpace projects. Please follow them on Instagram if you don't already. Um, and thank you again to everybody who had a hand in this show. <clears throat> Excuse me, from uh, Lynn Pisto, the LSU School of Art, ThinkSpace, Juxtapose, John G. Turner and Jerry G. Fisher, Breck, um, our staff, our board, our members, our donors, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, again, please join us on Instagram here in just a few minutes, and we will not only walk through the gallery one more time, but also announce the winners of uh, $2,000 in cash prizes. So thank you. We'll see you soon. Come by and check us out at Baton Rouge Gallery. Have a good night.